this is not a spring chicken. Yes, deja vu. Well, you know, that can be a reoccurring appearance. Oh, occurrence. Appearance? Occurrence, yeah. Reoccurring occurrence. <laughs> Does that mean I'm tongue twisted and tied? Oh, maybe, is that good or is that bad? Boy, well, if you keep asking questions like that, where will you end up being? That's a good question. But for now, I know, we're having fun with you. We're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines. <clears throat> White House doesn't get the problem with the high price of gas. Their response to all the complaints is that, um, is that with the Obama tax cut that he gave everybody, they'll easily be able to afford $4 a gallon in gas, and that $4 a gallon will not hurt anyone, including the economy. Well, you know, the truckers can't afford to pay the, the extra price because theirs isn't $4. I mean, right now there are places in Los Angeles selling gas for $5 a gallon. And the, the last problem, time we had a problem with the gas hitting $4 a gallon was, um, was when Obama took president because uh, basically people have the choice of buying gas for their cars are paying for their home. They decided to pay for their that by the gas, and the home prices went down. You know, basically what resulted in it. But um, but uh, <clears throat> the bomb blames everyone south for high gas price, and the press cheers him for calling out Bush, and the wealthy is responsible. And um, basically, the, while pa Bill O'Reilly isn't blaming Bush, he is blaming the Wall Street for it and the speculators and. And the only problem is that Mr. O'Reilly, he has a built-in hatred for the oil companies. He shows it continually. And he basically cannot get it through his Irish head that the oil companies are owned by people. They're not owned by people on Wall Street. They're owned by people's mothers, their fathers, their grandfathers, their grandmothers, by pension funds. The little guy owns those companies. So when Mr. O'Reilly says the government should take over the gas companies to ensure that the prices are kept low, well, he's saying, screw you, Grandma. Um, here's a good one. Victor Santorum paid a higher tax rate than Mitt Romney in 210. Well, yeah, you know, because that's basically using a system. Um, there, uh, you know, that you can get around almost anything uh, because they said that even though they said Obama's new tax reduction plan, Mr. Corporate Tax thing, rewards people that support Obama and punishes those that don't support Obama. Which means you can, he's already built in the get around. Um, um, they said Rick Santorum, Demo Republicans are, are basically, you know, they, it's all over for Santorum again. You know, he did, they, they said that, well, he didn't lose the debate, he didn't win it either because he didn't win it. It means that Romney is the man that they're going to rally against. Well, the latest polls say that um, Santorum is once again pulling ahead of Romney in Romney's home state, you know, which is not good. Um, here's a. Uh, well, uh, man suffers of injuries after e-cigarette explodes in his mouth. I don't see how that's quite possible, considering e-cigarette is nothing but a tube with an inhaler on it. There, the, it really doesn't do anything. Um, you know, it's got a little. Some of them have batteries on them, some of them don't. But if the battery explodes, it's generally the battery maker that we all a bad battery that goes into it because. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> because I mean, I have some e-cigarettes I got from gifting suites, and they're either totally disposable or they have a charger on it. And um, the company that sells the thing is not responsible for people making um, bad batteries. Here's one too. Mrs. Grandmother, stepmother charged a running girl to death. Well, I know that's what happens. They, the, you know, we were talking old world. Family that the girl stole, so the girl stole, and then she lied about what she did. So the punishment, they had her run back and forth. Generally, in my house, if we'd have done something, you'd have seen Mr. Willow, and Mr. Willow would have been really good across your behind. Or it would have been Mr. Hairbrush. Some people do it different. That's how they handle them. children that do bad things, and they simply you have to know when to stop. And. Um, I unfortunately will bet the girl was egging the problem on, and then ended up with everybody ended up a loser. So um, basically, Romney retools his message as Arizona leads shrinks. Well, he, he, he basically Santorum is leading everywhere. But don't worry, after his performance 
in Arizona at the uh, at the thing that nobody wants Santorum now. Of course, they don't want Romney either, which brings us to another. Could another candidate join the GOP race? Probably because it looks like they're going to have um, an open prime open convention this year, which is not. You have to understand that John Kennedy became president of the United States because people didn't want Lyndon Johnson. Which is funny, so they ended up with Lyndon Johnson. But they said the only way the Republicans are going to win the next election is, is if they have anybody with the above running for the office. Because these people, I mean, nobody in their right mind is going to vote for Romney. They're not going to vote for Sam Torman. Ginnery's just completely gone. Um, you know, the White House says now is not the time to arm Syrian opposition. And, uh, and Hillary Clinton says, but they will be armed. They'll, they'll somehow manage to get their weapons. The, the, the problem is, is no matter what's going on, the Russians, the Chinese do not want the port of Damascus sealed because that's where they send everything into the Arab world. If that's sealed, then they're screwed, folks. Uh, but they are talking the friends of Syria are going to put sanctions on. They're going to take the money from They're going to do this. They're going to do that. But as long as the Syrian government has the port of Damascus, they have everything in their back pocket. Uh, and, uh, Obama spokesman dismisses GOP remedies for, for raising gas prices. Basically, it's the same old thing: drill, drill, and drill more. Well, yeah, that's how you just stop. That's how you get the prices down. You increase the supply. Well, Bill O'Reilly said, "Well, we're selling our oil to China. We need the government to step in and order that go, that uh, that the prices be reduced." I mean, Bill O'Reilly's a socialist. It doesn't take much of a. I mean, he admires Bill. He admires a. Uh, uh, Barack Obama because of his intellectual capacity and he doesn't care what he does to business as long as it doesn't inconvenience him. Um, but uh, Illinois family Illinois family shocked by a hundred thousand dollar bill. I worked on a, on a project once where the yeah, a, a guy came back from a two week vacation. The house is basically shut down entirely. The power was turned off and stuff because he was going to have a, a new electrical system put in the house, you know, a new, because he was upgrading from the old box to the new box, so there was no power on until he came back. Uh, his power bill was over $4,000 for a time there was no box on the bill, no power box on the building, so you don't think that the power company doesn't screw up a lot? Um, uh, Stylish refused to cut governor's hair out over gay marriage stance. Well, they can decide to do what they want to do or not want to do, but to make it a public, you know, to go out in public and um, and demand that you change, you know, well, we're going to teach you a lesson. Well, it never works. They never get taught a lesson. All they do is they harden their um, structure. I mean, I'm looking at, on my side of Facebook, the people are so far, you know, basically Republicans do nothing but hate. Well, the problem is censorship is happening under the Democrats. It's not happening under the Republicans. You, you're basically more, you're losing more and more rights under the Democratic Party than you do under the Republican Party. And they said the, the difference between a Republican and a Democrat is that uh, while they both don't like what you have to say, at least a Republican will listen to what you have to say before he spits in your eye, or a Democrat would just spit in your eye. Um, Gary Spasco, Obama apologies, Obama's apologies to preside over Klan burning. Well, first of all, uh, would the President of the United States took that same stance if soldiers would have burnt a Bible? I don't think so. You know, like they said, I've heard people say they're getting very tired of this president refusing to admit he's a Muslim. They said there's no reason to be ashamed of being a Muslim, but he figures, well, I can't get elected. Well, he's a black American. He got elected to the presidency. They, they I don't think they'd have hurt, they'd have, and they know that he sucks up to all the Muslims. I do not think they would have basically said, we're not going to elect you because you're a Muslim. But he has to hide that fact continually. Um, and here's one that's really brilliant. Mexican researchers patent heroin, heroin vaccine. Well, I mean, they figured out a way to, to sell the drugs legally by giving people a vaccine made from narcotics that are not allowed to be sold. Isn't that great? They always could do that. And this one, this is a piece of news item that I find to be totally irrelevant and stupid. Wisconsin man poses a Denny restaurant manager. Well, unless it's the restaurant that you're in, and they would know who the managers are. Posing at a Denny's restaurant manager gets you nothing because Denny's is nothing but a restaurant chain. I know because I had a family member who used to be a manager for them. 
Um, I love the, it, this is really more stupid North thing. Virginia's personhood bill stalls in the Senate. Well, basically, it was going to give legal rights to eggs, to fertilized eggs, saying that they were a living person. A, um, amoebas, they don't think, are living persons. They're an amoeba. And they, they basically, they ridiculed them, like the guy that said that, uh, uh, that uh, another state that said that the Girl Scouts are promoting abortion and birth control. I don't think the little tiny girls of which my young wine were members of my sisters was is, uh, is doing anything but trying to sell cookies so that they can go to go to places. Um, but um, they have, um, uh, I'm going to go to the March for the Animal Kingdom. When all you hear is BS from politicians for for re-election, you never know when someone is actually telling you the truth anymore.